My name is Trevor from Rock and Sun. Today we're going to be looking at some outdoor sport climbing techniques. We're going to be checking out how we clip into a bolt, how we might clip the rope into the quick draw, and also how we might want to clip the quick draw onto a harness. Climbing in an outdoor environment obviously has some differences from climbing indoors. So what we want to do is give you some, some tips on the best way to use that equipment. Obviously we're going to be using quick drawers to link the bolt to the rope. So I've got this one here, um, standard sport climbing drawer. Useful to know which end is for the rope and which end is for the, um, the bolt. So the way to really determine that is actually what's going on with the webbing on the carabiner. So here we can see that there's a rubber bung captivating the quick draw. And what that does is it stops the quick draw for moving inside um, the carabiner. Well, that'll stop it going into three-way loading, which is that. And that's a weaker orientation, okay? So obviously the rope will be in this one and the rope could be trying to make that go into a three-way loading. So this end, top end that, that's loose, will go onto the bolt. So what we could do is I would choose on a, a expansion bolt or a, a, a bolt with a, a hanger, a plate, uh, to clip it from left to right so that the gate is underneath the nut here. Now, the nice thing about this is it isn't absolutely critical which way you do this, but it's slightly safer if we have it this way on a bolt with a hanger. And the reason for that is as we move left or right and the rope is active on the quick draw, what it might do is it might cause it to rotate around and what we don't want it to do is rotate fully and then unclip itself and that nut here will tend to block the quick draw from moving any further than this if it rotates in this direction it's now against the back bar on the hanger so there's nothing for it to unclip so I can show you what could happen and again I really need to stress that this is not something that we should be panicking about because it's, there's, a, there's a, a, a minute risk um, that this could open the gate and unclip itself. Okay, you could see how easy, easily I managed to do that, but the rope isn't likely to make that occur. It would be very difficult to re recreate that with, a, with, a, with the rope, but because there's a slight chance, it's better to have it facing this way. Okay, and then to use the fact that that nut might stop it rotating around and unclipping itself. The next thing that we might um, consider is which way this bottom gate is facing. Now, some people might ha have been told or might worry about the direction of travel and the rope unclipping itself from the carabiner if we're traveling in the same direction that this gate is facing. So I guess the good news about that is it just isn't something that can physically happen. So the theory is that as you travel from right to left and the rope that you're attached to travels across the gate, somehow when you fall off, the rope can fall across the gate and unclip itself. And as you can see, the good news is gravity releases any tension on this rope here. So any moment that you fall, this is now slack. So there's no tension on the gate that will allow for any pressure on the gate to force it open, okay? So we're just using physics and facts to just dispel any, any, any myth that's been created about if I'm traveling this way and I fall off, Somehow I'm going to fall in towards the rock, wrap around the back of the quick draw, and somehow press on the gate and unclip it. It's physically impossible. It doesn't happen. Something that's very important is to make sure that we're not back clipping the quick draw. And what we mean by that is when we clip the rope into the draw, we want to have the rock 
the quick draw and then the rope running on the outside of the quick draw. So what we should do is clip like so. So the rope going to the B layer is on the inside. Your rope as the climber is running over the top of the quick draw. Back clipping would be this. We now have the B layers rope on the outside of the carabiner and the climber's rope on the inside between the quick draw and the rock. Now in this scenario, again, even though this is unlikely to happen, there's a much greater risk that when you fall off, as you can see, the rope wants to fall against the gate. So direction of travel, you could say, might be important if you've back clipped, but it's the back clip that's the problem here. Um, so you should not be satisfied with back clipping a, a quick draw. That is something that you should change. So we're at the crag, we've identified the route we want to do. Now what we need to do is rack up ready to climb. Okay, so quick draws. Um, I need to put those on my harness so that I can take them off, clip them into the bolts. So we need to know which way up the, the quick draws are gonna go on our harness. So we have the rubber end, that's the captive uh, carabiner on the end of the quick draw, and we have the open, freely rotating top end. That needs to go onto our gear loop, okay? Now, doesn't really matter which way you clip that onto your harness. If you prefer to clip underneath and have them facing out, makes no difference at all. It's just whatever feels natural to you to take them, put them on and to take them off, okay? So personal preference, I prefer to have mine clipped forwards like this. And what I might do is have a variety of different length quick draws so that I can keep the rope running in a straight line if the bolts aren't all in a straight line on top of each other. So I might have my shorter ones at the front and I might have some longer ones towards the back so they're not interfering with um, my legs on the route. So hopefully that's given you some ideas on some of the things you want to watch for when you're out with the crag climbing that are different between climbing in an indoor and an outdoor environment. Uh, just remember that there's not always a right or wrong way. Sometimes there's a preferred way of doing things. And what's important is that we're able to look at what we've done and make an assessment as, as, as to whether it's safe or not. <laughs>